Pierre Poilievre, a fiery voice of Canadian conservatism, sharply criticizes Justin Trudeau, accusing him of retreating in the face of defeat after the Toronto by-election. Poilievre implies that Trudeau, losing grip on his caucus and support base, is now hiding in the shadows, his confidence shattered, and control slipping away. But the good news is, life was not like this before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. You know, I can't entirely keep that promise because he might be gone, be gone before I arrive. There's talk of him hitting the road real soon, eh? Do you hear about that by-election in Toronto? People in Toronto voted because he's not worth the cost. They wanted common sense conservatives instead. And ever since, Justin Trudeau has been in panic mode. He's not here at the stampede, is he? Nobody's seen him around. Is anybody missing him? But don't feel offended, Calgary, that Justin Trudeau is hiding from you. He's actually hiding from his own caucus. Terrified to meet with the people who are supposed to be his greatest supporters. Soon, you can imagine a caucus meeting of the NDP liberals in a phone booth with just Jag and Justin. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, Justin's in a lot of trouble now, eh? As Maggie Thatcher said, the problem with socialism is eventually you run out of other people's money, right? Strong leadership and accountability are what the public craves. Poilievre's cutting remarks strike a chord, painting Trudeau as a leader failing to rise to the occasion, dodging responsibility when it matters most. This perceived absence is more than just a misstep. It's seen as a glaring weakness, a fundamental flaw in Trudeau's leadership. Poilievre's attack isn't just a random jab. It's a calculated move to expose the cracks within the Liberal Party's foundation. By spotlighting Trudeau's perceived failures, the Conservative Party aims to rally support, especially in Toronto, traditionally a Liberal stronghold. Drawing from Margaret Thatcher's critique that socialism runs on others' money, Poilievre lashes out at Trudeau's economic policies, suggesting they lead to reckless spending and unsustainable debt. The public wary of increasing government expenditure and rising debt finds resonance in Poilievre's words. His pointed critique of Trudeau's leadership and policies taps into a broader discontent, rallying support for a conservative vision of fiscal prudence and robust leadership.